Esme's father is Ryan Chamberlain? Esme's willful and sometimes reckless, but she's not like him, I tell you. Esme's father is the serial killer. Not Esme. I have no idea who Esme's mother is. But with that monster as a father, is it any wonder the woman gave Esme up for adoption? Who knows if she's even alive or how she came to bear Ryan Chamberlain's child. I'm just so thankful Esme's been safe from him all along. Have you met Ryan Chamberlain? Oh, Saints preserve us, no. I only know him by reputation. When I thought you'd been sent by him, I was ready to abandon my life here to keep it that way. No, we actually have absolutely nothing to do with him. He is a dangerous psychopath, and I'm, I'm really happy you've kept your distance from him. Just so you know, also Ryan's locked up, serving a life term in prison. And he's also paralyzed, so he, uh, he can't hurt you. Can he still talk? Uh, apparently no. Um, he blinks to communicate. Um, but Maggie, he's locked away. He can't get to you. That's right. His May's adopted parents died. She became obsessed with tracking down her birth parents. There were no records, and the only clue to their identities was a four-leaf clover brooch made out of onions. It was pinned to the baby blanket that swaddled Esme when she was left with the nuns. I helped Esme track down the person who commissioned it, a woman named Connie Cooper, Ryan Chamberlain's first victim. That's it.